We make a lot of jokes on this channel, but this is a little different. You guys have been seeing all the news around Gabby Petito. She's a travel vlogger who's gone missing with her boyfriend, but her remains are rumored to be found now. But there's an insane backstory about how she went missing, everything that went down. Yeah, this story has been going on for a while. And I see it all the time, but yeah. I don't fully understand exactly what's going on, right? Yeah, you yeah. know what I'm saying? I haven't watched her content before either. I've never seen it. To be honest, mm -hmm. well, dude, it was her first video. She made one travel vlog. It got three million views on her first video. Wait, whoa, 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 and she has whoa. like a hundred thousand followers now. Oh, well, jeez. How how did she get three million off her first video? Was it, was it after this? Well, before she had like no followers. She posted the first travel vlog. She went missing. Everyone started like checking it out. And the entire thing is there's a ton of internet detectives that tried to uncover what really happened to her, and her her videos exploded. All that stuff. Mm. Wow. Look how innocent they look. That's so weird. It's because, so like, weird. You, you would see them at the fucking grocery store together type shit. Right. Right. Yeah, that's, what, that's how they look. I know. People didn't realize, like, the people are suspecting that the boyfriend, like, did some stuff behind the scenes, possibly killed her. Very bad situation. Oh, man. She hit it really well. Yeah. It's an evil world we live in. All right, let's check it out. This is from their vlog. This is called Van Life, beginning our van life journey. This is kind of some background info. We are right outside Capitol Reef right now in a uh, free dispersed camp spot. And we've been lucky so far at all the places we've stayed, but I'd say this is one of the best so far. Since we left, it looks so innocent and calm. It looks so like happy, right? Like in the video, it's like quiet and like peaceful. It's just like so weird, like this shit would happen. True, she seems super innocent. They seem super happy, but like there was so much more in the behind the scenes, right? Yeah. There was so much more that was going on. It just tells you everything that's shown on the internet isn't really like the truth We're... about how that relationship's actually going. True, right? true. Oh, clear, yeah. Cl yeah. In New York, I've only set up my hammock once. <laughs> and now we're all the way in Utah, and luckily enough, I was able to set up my hammock in one of these trees. And we're kind of like in the desert. <laughs> Very few trees. <laughs> So what like basically happened? Wasn't there like an interaction with the police like before even like the video dropped? Yeah, so they, like did, they did have an altercation where supposedly like she slapped him at a gas station. Police were called about a domestic violence uh, like a situation. And this is the body cam footage from that. So this was right before that vlog was released. Oh. So this is like a little bit more evidence kind of like it reveals more than what the vlogs were showing. It showed what the relationship was a little bit more like behind the scenes, right? So this is essentially what happened. Yeah, I don't know. It's just some days. <laughs> I have really bad OCD and okay. I just I was just cleaning and straightening up the back of the ambulance floor and I was apologizing to him and saying I'm sorry that I'm so mean because sometimes I have OCD and sometimes I just get really frustrated I'm not like mean towards him I just like I guess my vibe is like I really I am like in a bad mood and I was just saying, I'm sorry if I'm in a bad mood. I've just been really stressed. I had so much work I was doing on my computer this morning. <laughs> That's crazy. Yeah, it's the uh, the tough thing, man. When you're in a van that close for four months and you just like people relationship, like when you're that close together, you know what I'm saying? It tests it. Yeah. It tests it, bro. Like and you like and you have nowhere to go. No, you can't to like go. you can't leave because you're just traveling. You can't get away from each other. So. It's yeah. Literally, be, imagine being in that confined space for months. True. For a living. Um, well, I, I hate to work at an organic juice bar, but I just quit my job. Okay. I was a nutritionist. That's oh, what, okay. That was my That's job. Cool. And I just um, quit my job to travel across the country, and I'm trying to start a blog. And okay. I just have a blog. So, so I've been building my website, so I've just been really stressed, and I feel not really believe that I could do any of it. So that's kind of been like a, I don't know, he's like in... Down there. I don't know. We just have been fighting all morning, and <laughs> I feel like the cop should have known that <clears throat> she was like under distress and like needed more help. I, feel like. I right a little like, bit. Like yeah. if you're like bawling your eyes out to a cop, like they should do something with like. Besides, just like let you, and go. they know that you're staying with your like your fiance, right, in a van, a closed van for yeah. four months. There's definitely more going on. The cops then, have been a little bit more alerted. Like, think about it. As you're a cop, these people look normal as hell. She's clearly saying there's nothing wrong. Besides, there's a little bit of stress with, with see me and him. She's, yeah, like these people look so normal. They look normal, but she also looks so distressed. That's yeah. the problem, right? Yeah. I guess what could you have done? You couldn't have pe really like force them to separate. Yeah. Yeah. Like that. you can't do anything as a cop in that situation. Where's the dash cam of them interviewing him? Oh, like asking him questions. You yeah. want to see what he's like, right? Because yeah, yeah. the men, you know what I'm saying? The men are always the sketchiest in the, in the situation. Yeah, I'll show you that right here. She just gets worked up sometimes, and I try and really distance myself from her. So, like, I, I lock the car and I walk away from her. What, what happened this morning is that she's trying to start up, like, her own little website blog and everything. So, I give her time. And I, we really had a nice morning, if every, and if anything. But um, she just got worked up because we were trying to get going and get our day going because we want to go, um, like, guard just for the stuff that we're trying to do. Okay. 
You, you want to tell me about those scratches on your face? She had stuff on her hand. That's why I was pushing her away. Because I, she, she wanted me, I locked the keys so I could walk away. I, I said, let's just take a breather and let's not you know, go anywhere. Let's just calm down for a minute because she's going to work up. And then she had her phone and was trying to get the keys to her. So I got away. I was just trying to, I know I shouldn't push, but I was just trying to push her away to go, let's, let's just take a minute, step back and breathe. And you see, she got me with her phone. Can I see your hand? Oh, you got a mark right here. Oh, that's from a wire. That's from a wire? Mm -mm. That's not one slap, bro. That's not a that's slap. Not that one seems slap. a little bit that's more aggressive. Multiple days of like fighting, right? So this footage is showing like that. There was an altercation that happened. There was a possible fight. It got way too aggressive. But like they kept on going. They got back in the car. They kept on driving. And then afterwards, when the di disappearance happened, mm. jeez, Jesus Christ. All right. So what do you say? What, like just from watching the body cam footage, what do you think happened? Like what so are you suspecting? My like off the body cam footage, right? Yeah. Off the body cam footage, I think. Right? She got a little too physical one day. Shit snapped. Oh, they both got a little too physical. Shit snapped. He, you know. Was a little more aggressive. A little more aggressive. They got in a fight. Okay. Cops came. He was shook. Like, fuck. Like, I can't fucking tell him, like, what the fuck am I supposed to do? I'm out. They already got my address. I'm done. Mm. My, I'm not going to tell my parents shit. So the parents are going to be like, I, this is my kid. I, I don't believe he killed anybody. Okay. I'm not going to talk to you. But do you think that after the fight, they kept on going, got into more fights, and then that's when he actually no, killed yeah, him? Exactly. That's what you're saying? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. Because for multiple days after that, when she was, like, after this, like, the parents, were, Gabby's parents were receiving texts, but the texts seemed like they were being sent by somebody else. He clearly like, killed he, it. Like, they're on a road trip together, and her body was found. It was, like, it, like, it was found. But there's also some, like, weird, strange things in this world if you're traveling by yourself. Like, if the boyfriend, like, abandoned her and left her, right? Or something? Didn't, didn't he leave by himself? He came home by himself. But that doesn't mean that, like, some altercation didn't go down. I don't think he would just, like, leave her. You don't come home by yourself not calling the police when you've been traveling with somebody for two, three months. And they go missing. Yeah, that, that's kind of the issue. All right, then where the story escalates more and people started uncovering some stuff was that a separate person, like a totally different YouTube channel, was, was vlogging in the woods, and somebody slowed down the video and saw that Gabby's van was in the background of the video. Oh, jeez. And people were making TikToks about it, and that's what helped the police actually track down the body. So that's this is actual footage from the vlog. You can see the white van in the background, and you'll notice the door closing, like right when someone sees that someone's like coming down that path. Dude, what are the odds like you're just like filming at that very moment? Did they think like that was probably her van? No, the vlogger didn't realize it. It was other people on TikTok that saw the van and realized, oh, that's Gabby's. That, okay. That's where okay. Gabby was. Okay. What? What? Let, let's slow it down a tad bit. Like, do we see the decorations in the back of the van before it closes? Because this video is pretty blurry. And that <laughs> no, van is dude, pretty common. No, but dude, pictures came out showing that there's a passenger in there. He looks uh. like he's hiding a little bit. It's sketchy, man. And the cops later confirmed this was, in fact, her van. Damn. Internet sleuths literally uncovered it. Like, the internet detectives trying to figure this out. TikTok really fucking came in clutch. <laughs> TikTok came in clutch. the kids get off of their computers because they actually help with something. <laughs> like, you know, you know, like, you know, like, when... When, like, fucking people would, like, zoom in on people's faces when they would say, like, think they would say the N-word. You know yeah, what I'm talking yeah, about? Like, yeah. they did actually a good job here and actually yeah. zoomed into a van. Right, instead of, of exposing someone for saying the N-word, they <laughs> found, like, somebody that was kidnapped. Yeah. It's yeah. a little yeah. different. It's a little better. This was all in uh, Wyoming, so they suspected they actually found her body. It was found in, like, an actual national park, but the boyfriend is still missing. He still disappeared. He ran off. Mm. So the boyfriend is, like, the number one suspect, right? Yeah. 100%. Right? He's the number one suspect. Is he the only suspect? Pretty much, yeah. Because there's nobody else that was with her the entire time. We had the dash cam footage came out, we had the vlog come out, then we have the people find the van and seeing the van being closed by somebody. Mm -hmm. It's yeah. sketchy, it's sketchy. And then, he, and then he goes home and doesn't want to talk to the cops. Exactly, yeah. I, it's him, mm. it's him, it's you, it's you, sir. All right, so yeah, that's the entire situation there. Wishing the best for her family as well as I hope that they can find the uh, fiance. Even if he didn't do it, he needs to be questioned. He needs yeah, to be asked, right? Yeah, 100%. So you guys, make sure to subscribe, hit that notification bell. This is a more serious video. Uh, I hope you guys learned something. If you guys did, make sure to follow us on Instagram. It'll be linked down below. We'll see you guys next time. Peace out, guys. Peace. Woo!